Welcome back to Andrew's Collectibles. Today is Tuesday. We're going over our thrift shop haul review videos. And as you can see, we had quite a good week. Found a bunch of different Transformers, Star Wars, Pokemon, and a Geo Cruiser from the Captain Planet cartoon. So going through what we found, we're going to start with the Star Wars stuff. We found this Star Wars ship for $1.99. Now it's nearly complete, but for $1.99, we had to pick it up. It's in pretty good shape. As you can get a good look at it here. Looks like it's missing two of the, I want to say, turrets that go on top of it. But other than that, if we can complete it, it'll be a nice piece. So it was a pretty good pickup for $1.99. We picked up these things, which were neat. They're like little hand, I want to say, flashlights. And they're in the shape of a Star Wars character. Now if you open it, see how it lights up. So we got Vader and we got Chewie. Chewie doesn't work, but they do have a battery slot on the back. So we're going to fix them up. And I love old nostalgic stuff that you can kind of just have laying around. It's just, I call it conversation pointers. Like people are like, what is that? So then we got some Pokemon guys as well. So we got these in a bag for $2.99. And I collect Pokemon figures. My daughter likes them as well. So we picked all these guys up. One of them is from the Burger King line or the McDonald's line. But the other ones are from the official toy line. So these are nice, nice little figures. A lot of detail into them. Definitely something that's worth picking up for that price. So we'll move those guys out of the way. And we're getting into the, getting close to the Transformer haul. We picked up the Geo Cruiser from Captain Planet. You can see it right there. And it's in pretty good shape. There's not a lot of damage to it. And the cool thing is that Value Villages in Windsor and, and I think Canada in general, they tend to devalue the vehicles if they're not complete, which if you're a collector, you might be able to find that piece that makes it complete and it'll be worth a lot more. So this was $1.99. And the only thing that's missing is like the bubble shell for the cockpit. So if I can find one of those, whether through Etsy or eBay, this would be completed and be a nice set to have for like, I've got those, uh, if you've been watching the videos, you notice that I did pick up a few of the uh, Captain Planet villains. So now looking forward, we're going into the Transformers that we found. Starting off, we went to Goodwill. And right on one of the racks, this was sitting there. It seemed a little odd because it's from the last night. And it's a turbo changer. And it was two bucks. So we were pretty happy about it. Obviously, you're going to buy it. Not a big fan of the turbo changers just because I don't like the one-step process. But for two bucks, I'm not going to not pick it up. Then we picked up all these guys in various thrift bags at Value Villages. I want to say combined, all these guys cost about maybe $30 maybe less and then the cool thing at value village is if you spend if you spend 100 bucks you get 30 percent off your next purchase so i think i hit the 100 dollars last time so i had 30 percent off this so it cost me even less picked up a bulkhead this robo dog which is a transformer but he's incomplete i don't have any idea where he's from help me out guys comment below and it looks like a constructicon i'm not sure if this is a knockoff or not but he's like and maybe it's a smaller inferno um from like a G1, but I really didn't know what to make of him, but he was in a bag. I think it was him, 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 and this knockoff piece of trash that we're just gonna use to maybe part it out or have the other Transformers beat it up. So those guys were there. Then we get into the figures that we're more excited about. We got a robot in disguise figure and he's complete, like in really good shape. We got a Bumblebee. He's missing his head, but still really good shape. Got another one, really good shape. So these three like were, were, were more than worth it. I can't remember for the life of me what this guy's name is, but he's a nice figure and he's got all his parts. It's looking like, so it was worth picking up. He was in a bag with this prime, which is why we bought it. And this prime is complete and uh, was worth the price of a $3.99 bag. So that's the one we why we grabbed it. He came in it, so help me out, whether it's YouTubers like C-Dog, C-Dog, or uh, Gotbot. Tell me who that guy is, because it's killing me, or even the Reddit, the Reddit guys that I ask. And then we picked up another Bumblebee. So we have that bee over there, if you can see him. He was in another bag for $2.99. So we picked him up. We got another movie, um, movie class, leader class Optimus Prime. Not complete, but still he's in pretty good shape. We'll get a good look at him. 
So he's like, he's missing a few pieces, but that being said, he's in pretty good shape and he does transform. It looks like he holds his transformation other than a few minor details. You got another prime. He's not in the best shape, but a really nice figure. He's missing quite a bit of his accessories, but still for in a bag with another, I think him and the B were in a bag for $6.99. He was $7.99. These guys were in a bag for $3 or $4.99. These were $3.99. And then the Predaking was $5.99 that we picked up. Predaking's not in bad shape. He's missing his wings and he's missing one of his feet. But I don't know a ton about Beast Hunters. But that being said, I wanted to pick him up anyway because he looked cool. That's everything that we found. All in all, everything that we had here, under $50. Bucks. And then we're getting 30% again on the next time we go. So... Hope you guys enjoy the videos. Like, comment, or subscribe. Help us out. Help us identify some of these guys. And uh, we'll shoot you a shout out in the next video. Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, talk to you soon.